Dilations. How are dilations similar to scale drawings? So today we're going to talk about dilations and I want to first show you what that might look like. So a dilation is when you have an original picture and it's either it enlarges, it gets larger, or it gets reduced, it shrinks a little bit. Here we have uh, this triangle here, this purple one, and it got enlarged to this larger one. Here we have like the original smiley face, let's see this middle one here, enlarges, it gets larger and reduces, gets a little bit smaller. So we're going to talk about how we do that on a coordinate plane. So we have dilations. There are some uh, things I'd like you to write down here. So things that are like this, enlargement, reduction, or scale drawings. And so you'll get an opportunity to do some extra credit to do a scale drawing. Uh, for those artists out there, for those who want to try something out, I'll let you do that. Characteristics. Okay, so dilations are going to have the same size and shape, same shape as the original. Okay, you'll see that in a second. Um, and then things I've already learned um, how to use, ratio, scale factors, and graphing. Now, this is kind of misleading here. The characteristics, the comparison of size and shape um, to the original is going to be constant. But the actual size itself is going to change. Key concept about dilations. So in dilations, we use a scale factor. It tells you how much bigger, how much smaller you want to get. They use the uh, variable k for that. So when k, when the scale factor is larger than one, it's called an enlargement. Okay, so it's, if it's bigger than the original size, it's called enlargement. And when the scale factor is between zero and one, it's called a reduction. Okay, it can't go less than zero because it would go away. You can't have a negative uh, enlargement, but it can be less than one so some kind of fraction less than one all right and so we use these symbols um, x and y in order to be dilated you're going to just take your scale factor and multiply it with x and multiply it with y let's take this example triangle abc has the points a b and c given those points right there and i want to find the coordinates after a dilation with a scale factor of four so four tells me and this is going to be an enlargement it's going to get larger by a factor of four so this is what I do. I take every x and every y and I multiply each of them by 4. So I start with a. a was 0, 0. I multiply both by 4. I get 0, 0. That doesn't change. b uh, originally was 8, 0 as stated above. So I multiply each of those by 4. I get 32, 0. c is originally 3, negative 2. Each of those get multiplied by 4 and I get 12, negative 8. So these are my new coordinates. Um, of my new enlarged photo. This one I'm actually going to show you what it looks like. So triangle JKL has the vertices J, K, and L, those coordinates there. I want a graph after a dilation with a scale factor of one half. One half, that's less than one, that means it's going to be getting smaller or reduction. So I'll start off with, I'll show you everything here. I start off in this blue one, right? So 3, 8 was J, 10, 6 was K, and L was 8, 2. So this is the blue one here. If I multiply each of those by a half, I did that over here. So 3 times a half is 1.5. 8 times a half is 4. So that's my new coordinate for J prime. I'll write that over here, J prime. That was over here, 1 and a half and 4. Next one, 10, 6. If I cut that in half, that should be 5 and 3. That's what I have over here. Um, 5 and 3 was K prime and 5, 3, that's right here. And then lastly, 8 and 2 cut in half is 4 and 1, which I wrote over here, and that's L prime. And I graph that, it's right here. If I connect those two points, you can see that this is a reduction. This blue one got smaller by half its size, okay? And so that's around the origin here. So that's the main part of dilations. The next video is going to kind of enhance a little bit more of that, and then the third video, is to show you about the extra credit assignment.